Hello, this is Gary Edge, the Cut Nut, and today I'm going to teach you something about diamond sparkles. So, we know that diamonds sparkle, especially when you move them, but what most people, oops, don't know is that when you look at a diamond, you see twice as many sparkles as somebody who only has one eye. So, this is the experiment that I'd like you all to do. <clears throat> so, you take your diamond, gemstones, but diamonds work best, and you lock yourself really, really hard into one spot, and you close one eye, and you don't move the ring, and you count, and I can three, see three flashes of light coming from this beautiful big diamond. Don't move it. Now you open your other eye and I can see two. And if I open both eyes, usually I can see five. I can see all of those flashes all at the same time. And so what that means is that each eye is seeing the flash from a different direction, right? Now, if the diamond ring was like two miles away, I would only see the same thing with both eyes. But the closer it gets, the more angle there is from each of your eyes and the more difference you're going to see with two eyes. And that's why it's also better to see things with a video. Now, some of you smarty pantsers might think that, hur, 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 where's the science in this? Well, here is the science in this. That's the Australian Gemologist magazine journal. Alrighty. <clears throat> and we put together an article in this. It was the only article in the magazine, apart from this one, which was Corinne Sutherland, who uh, had died um, a couple of years ago. Lovely, lovely lady. Started the diamond course in Australia. And also <coughs> this little medal here for the student, the best student for the year of the diamond course. Well, guess who they mentioned that won it because he's one of the authors of this article that took up all 40 pages of the scientific journal, right? So, <clears throat> that's the topic, right? Pretty sophisticated. And so I wasn't the only author, there was a, several others, and I'll give you a link to the article, um, the paper, at the back of the thing, uh, the back of this video. So, what we did was, <clears throat> we, I got these made in China, they're little 3D viewing glasses so that you can view these pictures of diamonds that were made in this light box over here with a camera that took that has a splitter on it and takes three-dimensional photos. So this is pretty serious stuff. And this article um, is probably 20 or 30 years ahead of its time. Um, very, very few people in the industry or the trade had any bloody idea what it was about, right? The very, very few people who did um, were largely owners of some large diamond cutting factories, and they have incorporated this stuff for their own internal research and development. So I'll give you a link to the article. Um, it's got some beautiful stuff in it. This is, what, this is some of my favorites. <clears throat> when you look at this, you see little spots. And that's because our eyes see things differently. And one of the main topics here is that when you see something with two eyes that sparkles, like a glass or a piece of metal or something, the two eye effect creates what we know as brilliance. You can't get brilliance from a single photo. You can get a little bit of brilliance from a video, which is why it's so important. And you can get lots and lots and lots when you use a stereo photograph and even more from a stereo video. What a surprise. So I hope you enjoyed this first of Gary Cutnut's sessions on behalf of Holloway Diamonds. If you like this stuff, please follow me on Facebook and YouTube, etc. And ask questions and make some comments and I'll try and answer them if I can. And wow, fantastic you got this far.